My beautiful Pisces friends, how are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome my friends. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. So this is your new moon reading everyone. We have the new moon gracing our skies on July the 5th. This new moon is in the sign of Cancer, which signifies a time of emotional renewal and heightened sensitivity in our lives. Now, Cancer is a water sign which is ruled by the moon, which governs our emotions, our intuition, and our domestic life. We're going to find out exactly how this energy is affecting your life. Now, personally, I feel that this is a time where a lot of us are going to develop uncover or tap into our spiritual gifts. From this moment until the end of the year, we're going to go through experiences which um, bring that spiritual gift out. So what I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with a spiritual gift oracle card, okay? Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by a spirit animal card where I read you the interpretation from the guidebook. Then I'm going to pull three personal messages for you and then close off with an angel number. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Pisces, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear around this new moon energy. So we are getting for you today, spirit world. Look at this, some of you are connected to the spirit world and this is a part of your gift. So the message for you is, the world to the spirit world is open to you. Open yourself up to their wisdom and allow them to help you in this lifetime. So once again, the world to the spirit world is open to you. Open yourself up to their wisdom and allow them to help you in this lifetime. So I don't know if any of you do any kind of mirror work or if you're doing some shadow work. I feel this is what this card has to do with. And there's some gifts that are coming through here for you. So you'll have to share with me here, Pisces, if this spirit world energy is resonating for you today. Comment in the comment section below. So I'm going to pull some tarot cards now and see what else spirit would like to share with you. I don't know if any of you are seeing skulls, perhaps skull tattoos. Um, that's what's coming in. We got devil energy coming in. So there's some distractions, some temptations. There's something here that is pulling you away from what you're meant to do. This is the energy you're meant to be aware of Pisces. Okay. This is a major arcana card. So this energy is going to be prominent. However, it's in the background. Some of you might be feeling this intensely. Others, you might be feeling this subtly. So the devil is in the details here. Pisces, we've got the Knight of Cups. There's something incoming here, an offer, an opportunity, or even love. This is moving in slowly towards you, but it's going to open you up to a whole new experience in your life, okay? So what I also want you to do today is to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So the Knight of Cups and we have the Justice card. Okay, pay attention to the number 11s in your life. This is what's coming through this card. Some of you might be seeing the number 11s, perhaps 11, 11 on clock. Now, some of you are balancing your options here. Justice is going to be served and there's some karmic debt that is being paid off, but karma is also at play here in your life somewhere. All right, Pisces, so the Justice card. We've got two major Arcana cards in your spread here. So this is letting me know that there is something powerful taking place here. Now, before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today, Pisces. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your moon and your rising signs. So we've got the devil card here. 
Who or what is the devil in your life right now, Pisces? I feel that some of you are aware of what this energy is. Others, sometimes we're not aware. And it's all about heightening our awareness and what a perfect new moon energy right now to heighten our awareness, our sensitivities. Some of us might be feeling like our sensitivities are peaking, our emotions are rising because of things that are triggering us. Now, this could also be a rise in our egos, right? Sometimes we can feel like our ego is taking over or we respond with our ego self. So this is a deep dive looking at ourselves to really calm and tame the beast within. This is what I'm getting here with this card. But I also feel there's distractions and things that sometimes manipulate or influence us. Um, influences, meaning external um, energies, things that we consume mentally, right? We have eyes and ears that are gateways, right? They're portals, right? Allowing energy to come within us. Um, what I mean by this, influence us or manipulate us. So sometimes when we're watching a lot of things on TV, um, even on social media, it can influence us. Um, change the way we see things depending on what it is that we're watching. World events right now are heightened. There's a lot of things that are going on in the world. So those of you that are uh, affected by this world energy, turn the news off, turn off all of that social media that has to do with the world and really focus on yourself because whatever these distractions are, whatever this energy of the devil is, is taking you away from the bigger picture of where you're meant to be and what you're meant to experience. Okay, so um, this, this energy sometimes lurks around, it's always around us and it's up to us to wake up to it and become aware and limit the amount of the devil energy that we take in. Now, this can show up in our lives through people, vampire energies, right? This can also be uh, manipulators, uh, toxic personalities, narcissists, right? Gaslighters. Some of us might be experiencing these kind of energies. So this is where we create some healthy boundaries around this devil energy and really stand by those boundaries. All right, so it's very important that you understand what this energy is in your life. Addictions are a part of this as well. So spirit is really wanting you to work on some of the addictions that you have in your life, especially if you've been thinking about it and you've been wanting to act on it, like releasing yourself from whatever's holding you down. I'm seeing someone in shackles, like chains and shackles. And this is more of a metaphor. This is more something that is um, an internal experience that you're experiencing, like not being able to move forward because of fear. Fear is coming through this card as well. Um, illusions, things that might seem real but aren't, things that might feel good that aren't, are all showing up at this time. And what Spirit is trying to do here for you, P Pisces, is release you from this and move you into this newer energy where um, you start to see a lot of abundance, a lot of prosperity, a lot of growth. So be mindful of the devil energy in your life. Um, I'm getting someone manipulating you here. Be careful around people. Be careful of the advice that you take as well. I'm just hearing someone whispering in your ear. Um, maybe you are connected to this person. Like I'm getting codependency here as well. Codependency coming in. Perhaps you have a partner or someone in your life that might be very controlling or telling you what it is that you need to do in your own life. And right now, Pisces, you're meant to do what it is that you want, not what others want for you. Um, you're meant to sit in the driver's seat of your own life. You're meant to take charge of your life and not let this energy kind of dictate where you're going and what you're meant to do. So um, if you're aware of a person or an energy around you that is kind of steering you right now, this is where you want to grab the wheel and direct yourself, okay? So the devil energy, you'll have to share with me what this is in your life, Pisces. This can show up in many different ways here. Um, we've got the Knight of Cups, so there's an incoming energy. And sometimes uh, when we have the devil energy in our life, it can come in and throw a wedge in this. So you just wanna be careful because I do feel for some of you, the devil energy is creating a wedge between you and something that is meant to come into your life. So just be mindful that spirit is bringing in manifestations. Prayers are being answered here with this card and something is coming in. Now this energy that's incoming is meant to free you, meant for you to um, experience life through love, through compassion and kindness. And um, 
It's opening up your heart center ultimately. Whatever this is, so this can show up as a career opportunity, a job opportunity, a business opportunity, love, romance, partnership, um, something that you're passionate about that you're going to embark on. I'm seeing adventure around this exploration here as well and what's happening is like spirit world so we have this card some of you might be doing some shadow work um, and this is a part of kind of what I'm getting is someone's like throwing something in fire and it's like the flames are going out so big and so bright and this is a form of release and this could be something energetically that you're working on within yourself shadow work mirroring right um, working with energies, working with deities, working with um, spirits even. Some of you out there might be working with this. Um, and what I'm getting here is some of you are working with a spirit and the spirit is kind of helping you um, open doors or to open yourself up to new experiences in your life. Um, so whenever I'm doing my filming, and when I do my meditation in the morning, I'm channeling Saraswati's energy here, right? To and, and, the, and I feel some of you are working with spirits or deities in your life. This is what I mean by pulling an energy from a certain deity, channeling it and using it for the greater good. This is what I'm doing here. So what's happening is as you're doing this work, and it doesn't have to be with a deity. This could be with Holy Spirit. This could be with Jesus. This could be with God. Um, whoever it is that you resonate with. There's this opening and information that is coming in. There's an alignment that is taking place. And this is, um, this ha this is connected to your heart center. I'm trying to make sense of this right now, Pisces, but I feel that spirit is communicating with you through prayer, through meditation, through dreams, through animals, through insects. So what I'm getting here are spiders coming into your home because of something that you're doing. I'm getting a hole um, somewhere. I'm getting a hole in something coming through that hole. This could be like a mouse. I don't know if any of you have mice in your home. Um, even a bird coming into your house. Like there's some sort of an opening that's allowing something to come in. Now this could be energetically as well for you where you've opened something up and you're allowing something to come in. Now that's something on a whole whole um, level on its own that could be showing up um, so this is so interesting how spirit is showing me this some of you are hearing silent whispers in your life like just silent whispers of information coming in this is your intuition that's heightened I'm getting almost like schizophrenic energy here or um, hallucinations where you're seeing things maybe you are seeing things I don't know if any of you are gifted with vision as a seer, being able to see things. And I've been getting this movie coming into my life, but it's um, called, um, oh my gosh, what is it called? I just remembered it. They Live is the movie. I don't know if any of you have seen it and you're able to see things. It's almost like that, like you're, you're becoming awake and aware of something. And this is how this Knight of Cups is coming in. It's opening you up. And there's almost like this alignment with something that resonates for you, like... Oh my gosh, this is so hard to describe. It's, um, what is this? Like, there's almost been like the sleepwalker that has woken up. And um, your gifts are now coming out. I'm getting moths coming in here. I don't know if any of you have been seeing moths around you. Um, it's just a transformative energy that has come in. And this is a slow process, a slow buildup that is allowing you to really understand yourself on a more deeper level. So I do feel there's a messenger that is coming in to deliver a message for you, however that shows up. This can show up as a person delivering a message. Um, this could be, you know, spirit. This could be something internally that is kind of unfolding, unraveling, uh, being uncovered, where you're going to... Um, come come into this information this knowledge this knowing this enlightenment through this knight of cups today um, and again this can show up as someone delivering a message to you um, that brings the you know a truth uh truth being a um oh my goodness this is so hard to describe this card because it's coming in with a really heavy dense energy and um it feels like 
you can't make sense of it. And it's not a dark energy, it's a light energy coming in and it's, it's really um, powerful. It's opening you up to this completely different experience. So you're going to have to share with me what this card is for you, Pisces. Um, and what I'm getting here is you're basically equipping yourself, like you're being equipped, you're being strengthened, you're being prepped and primed for something here with this. Because as you move forward, you're going to need some of these superpowers, some of these gifts, some of the strength to um, kind of deal with what is coming to the forefront, which is the justice card. So powerful, so interesting this for you. Now, there's some sort of justice being served somewhere in your life. And some of you have been waiting for this to happen. And um, what I'm getting is someone looking in the mirror who has been waiting or um, visualizing this for a very long time. So now this is finally coming in and justice is being served here. Some of you are making a decision somewhere in your life and kind of weighing your options. And this is where it's really going to change. It's a matter of life or death is what spirit is saying. And perhaps this is something you're just saying to yourself, like this has to happen. Otherwise, it feels like life is going to be over. Or um, you're trying so hard, like I'm seeing a lot of um, distance here, a lot of time spent on something that... Um, something that needs closure i'm getting here like there needs to be closure around this for you pisces i don't know what this is this could be like a lawsuit some sort of a court case something to do with the government i'm seeing a lawyer i'm seeing a lot of government officials here um you're seeking justice it hasn't been served some of you have experienced justice being served uh, there's a lot of different things at play here. So spirit wants you to release control of whatever this is and not try so hard for that outcome. Instead, release it and allow spirit and karma to take over here and to work its magic. So karma is at play. I'm seeing karmic debt being paid, but I'm also seeing karma being served here. Okay, so know that this energy is at play here. Now I'm seeing some of you releasing something out of your life and moving forward uh, on a new in a new direction so finalizing and closing a chapter of your life and moving forward so I'm seeing a divorce case being finalized and closed um, and two energies parting ways and maybe this has been a long process but now there's this finalization this closure that is, ha that is happening with this um, some of you are waiting or looking for an outcome, release the energy of that, like release any kind of, um, expectations around an outcome here, Pisces, because the way that things are going to happen for you are not in the way that you're expecting them to happen. So they're saying, stop trying to control the situation, let it go, surrender to what is happening here, let it all go and allow things to happen organically because spirit is at play here and things are going to work the way that they're meant to you you are exactly where you need to be in the experience that you're experiencing as well and what spirit is saying is there's so much that is coming in for you so much that is opening up for you that if you don't release this you're going to get caught in a loop um, where you're experiencing the exact same thing over and over and over again. And perhaps you're already experiencing this and I'm getting the movie Looper coming in. I don't know if any of you have seen that movie Looper, but they're showing me the movie Looper and this person going through a portal going in. And it almost feels like you go in through this portal and you show up exactly where you were. So to break this, to cut this cord, you need to surrender and release and let it go and allow yourself to move forward, to see the road ahead without this uh, in the way here and there's some uncertainty there's this kind of weighing your options you're not sure which way to go if you should move forward with something there's a lot of uncertainties uh, a lot of this and that this like internal battle here um, and you know this this energy of the spirit world is here as well so spirit wants you to really tune in and connect with it because the guidance that you're seeking is going to come for, from spirit and emotions are high here with this energy. So there's a lot of good that is already happening. And I feel the distraction of whatever this is, is definitely there. So sometimes the devil has a hold on us around a certain thing because 
we are expecting, we want something so badly to happen that this takes over and we're, we find ourselves in a whirlwind energy of these combined where um, we're kind of falling. It almost feels like a bottomless pit that we're falling in and nothing is happening for us. We're not able to get out of it. We're not sure. We're kind of trapped. We're sinking. We're falling and it feels like a really bad nightmare. I don't know if any of you are experiencing this or if you're experiencing something different with these cards, but you're, you're being um, given information. So if you take a look, this, uh, this um, justice lady has this light and you're being enlightened. There's awareness coming in and you're going to see the truth. You're going to seek the truth. Some of you are truth seekers. You're after the truth. The truth is coming out here, Spirit is saying. It's coming out in many different ways and we're finding this, at, especially with the world right now, a lot of truths being revealed, a lot of changes that are happening, the way that we think and see people. I feel on the day to day, it's shifting and changing. So you might be experiencing this in your own life right, with a lot of different things that are unraveling. And perhaps you're paying attention to world news, perhaps you're paying attention to, you know, just the energy around the world and maybe it's affecting you. So this is where you let go of all of that and allow yourself to move in your own energy that rather than the energy of the world and the people around you. So it's all about cutting those cords and allowing yourself to move freely. And I feel this is an opportunity that spirit is sending you that you're clearly seeing. So there's almost like this awakening, this um, ascension that is happening. And there's a bigger picture around this than just the minor little things that are happening in your life, Pisces. So spirit is really wanting you to be open and perceptive, um, perceptive, like in the way that you're seeing the world, open and receptive as well, but open and positive um, in the way that you're seeing things, the way that you're interacting with things and the way that you're showing up in these energies in your life right now, because there is something big brewing and you're going to be set free here. There's this freeing energy where um, you're going to experience something that is more in alignment with you, but it needs to be opened up and you need to allow yourself to move into it is what spirit is saying here. So the, the number 15, the number 11 are coming up here for you. So pay attention to those numbers. Um, maybe you were born on the 15th or the 11th Pisces. Now, I'm going to pull a bonus card from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. So any of you seeing animals or insects in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. And look at that. We've had, um, it felt like an explosion in the cards here. And this is the energy I've been feeling for you. It just feels like all over the place, right? Explosive. So we are getting elephant spirit. Learn from the past. I don't know if any of you are seeing an elephant. This is your confirmation today. If you aren't seeing one, you're seeing one now on your screen. Now we had a card fall to the floor. Anytime in my practice, a card falls to the floor, it's not meant for you, okay? So I've chosen the one that has fallen on the table here. So the number 25 is on this card. Perhaps this is a number of significance. Some of you may have been born on the 25th of the month. So this is coming in as a confirmation. Those of you looking for timing, I am getting 25 days, 25 weeks, and 25 hours around the message of this card. So although we often wish we could leave the past behind, Elephant Spirit reminds us that memory matters. We must respect the wisdom of the elders who hand down to us traditions that have shaped to express our connection to each other and respect for the community. What has come before informs us what we are experiencing today. And we must never forget our legacy of strength and dignity. Elephant Spirit appears with the message that we are to acknowledge that which came before and learn from it. All of us are memory-based creatures and we must revisit the past to understand where we are and where we are going. The stories or events that you have experienced, the stories in our collective memory and the stories of relationships you have had can be told many ways. What story will you tell, Pisces? Elephant Spirit is here to encourage you to make it one that stirs in you a sense of power and dignity, for you have honored yourself by choosing to learn from your past. Spirit rejoices as your willingness to learn and grow. So look at that. So 
elephant spirit here spirit is calling you to embrace this energy so what i'm going to do now is pull three personal messages for you pisces so feel free to pause this video take a deep breath and connect to spirit and when you come back place these messages wherever they resonate for you today so your first card is stand your ground we've got a shield here very important that you understand this message today so hold your own power and never give it away pisces not everyone is there to support you so once again hold your own power and never give it away not everyone is there to support you so stand your ground all right your second card is you're in the making, you're entering a new reality, opening up to new levels of you and where your best self exists. It's your time to shine, so don't hold anything back. In the making here, so once again, you're entering a new reality, opening up to new levels of you and where your best self exists. It's your time to shine, so don't hold anything back, okay? And your third card is you're in alignment. Look at that. You're in alignment. Everything is aligning perfectly in your life. What didn't make sense in the past will now start to fall into place. So once again, everything is aligning perfectly in your life. What didn't make sense in the past will now start to fall into place. And you know what? Whenever I get the Knight of Cups, this lets me know that you're in alignment and something is coming in to confirm that, but also open you up to that experience of the alignment you're in, okay? So what I'm going to do now is pull a angel number. So some of you are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting for you Pisces. 1414 one, are any of you seeing these numbers in this sequence perhaps you've seen one uh, seen these numbers in a phone number phone phone number on a home address or a license plate or somewhere else this is your confirmation today so focus on your needs desires and hobbies pisces everything is more accessible with a light attitude and you will be blessed with new opportunities a new friend or an addition to your family good vibes will speed up the process so some of you might be experiencing mood swings around this energy um, there's this need for respect this time around family um, they're wanting you to have a constructive outlook on your life and um, to experience the quality of your life rather than the quantity of your life so 1414 those of you looking for timing 14 days 14 weeks and 14 hours around the message of this card. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.